Film Review, For Those Who Don't Know How, directed by Brian Chamberlain. Brian Chamberlain's short film, For Those Who Don't Know How, made its world premiere at the 29th edition of the Palm Springs International Short Fest in the program Coupling and Uncoupling. Delving into themes of existential anguish and emotional expression, this introspective work offers a thought-provoking exploration of human experiences. The film opens with a profound statement that sets the tone for the narrative. The mystery of life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. Chamberlain employs symbolism throughout the story to convey the protagonist's journey. In the opening scene, we witness the male lead, portrayed convincingly by Luke Forbes, placing a wingless wooden bird within the frame. This striking visual metaphor immediately introduces us to the central character's captivity. We sense his confinement in a coma-like state, with the subsequent flashbacks serving as his final memories before his hypothetical demise. Yet, this death transcends the physical realm, representing a part of his being trapped by the memories he shared with his beloved. Drawing inspiration from Carl Jung's theory of shadows, the film explores the inescapable nature of our inner struggles. It adeptly illustrates that attempting to flee from one's personal demons, much like shadows, only leads to their persistent pursuit. The film integrates this concept, emphasizing the futility of evading one's own shadow and the consequences of unresolved internal conflicts. Through the profound words of Sir Anne Kierkegaard, the film questions the nature of choices and regrets. If you marry, you will regret it. If you do not marry, you will also regret it. This philosophical contemplation underscores the pivotal role our choices play in shaping our destinies. Regardless of the path we choose, gains and losses are inevitable, presenting a haunting dilemma that resonates with the audience. The portrayal of the main character, Jay, abandoned by his lover, is marked by intense feelings of emptiness and a shattered sense of purpose. Luke Forbes delivers a convincing performance, conveying the character's emotional turmoil and the overwhelming void left by his departed beloved. The film adopts an existentialist lens, probing the profound question of life's meaning and the quest to rediscover it amidst adversity. Echoing the sentiment of Jean-Paul Sartre, who famously stated, everything has been figured out, except how to live, the film's climactic scenes resurface the sound of the fluttering fly. This poignant moment symbolizes the sacrifice of memories tied to Jay's beloved, as the fly relinquishes its life and fades away. This pivotal act grants Jay the possibility of liberation from the prison of his own memories, a metaphor powerfully conveyed by the fluttering fly in the film's final frames. Crafted with skill and precision, the film's editing by Scott Hansen and Jack Lawrence Meyer deserves praise for seamlessly weaving together the narrative's emotional beats. The musical composition by Katya Richardson enriches the viewing experience, expertly complementing the film's tone and enhancing its introspective atmosphere. Additionally, the meticulous lighting design by Drew Dawson serves as a visual manifestation of the film's overarching mood, expertly crafted to evoke a sense of introspection and contemplation. In conclusion, for those who don't know how delivers a compelling and thought-provoking viewing experience. Brian Chamberlain's adept use of symbolism, coupled with convincing performances, elevates the film's existential exploration. Its philosophical musings and poignant visuals will leave audiences pondering the nature of choice, regret, and the pursuit of meaning. While for those who don't know how may not achieve perfection in every aspect, its thought-provoking narrative and impactful execution make it a worthwhile cinematic experience.